Hey guys, Crystal here, picking up right where we left off. I literally just finished the last recording, so we're going to literally be picking up right where we left off. So, uh, the storm is approaching. Uh, I promised you guys I would read you some of these uh, relics that we just found, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right here at the beginning. Uh, if you don't want to listen to this, go ahead and fast forward through the video a couple minutes, or click ahead, I don't mind. Uh, relic number 10, an inspiring vision. A utopia for our times. I cannot stop thinking how obscenely wasteful this whole endeavor is to put such an astonishing amount of materials and so many months of hard work into building this marvel here where nobody but a handful of selected scientists, financiers, and assorted notables can see it. Words fail me. Supposedly, they don't want to get people's hopes up in case the whole project ends in a fiasco. But I can't see how such a simple and elegant mechanism could fail. The generator is the key to our future. Once the concept is proven, we can provide everyone with shelter and basic sustenance, using the vast resources of the Empire. We only need time. Relic number 11, the Cookhouse Ancestor. Truth be told, I don't envy anyone who'd have to work there. The design was supposed to be easy to build with rudimentary tools and materials, while being as comfortable as possible, but Mumford's team focused entirely on the former criteria and neglecting the latter. The result is an ob abject failure, a cramped hovel where the diners would be where the diners would get frostbitten while the cooks would get burnt, turning meals into a particularly cruel torture. I intend to insist on a redesign that meets all of our requirements, but I fear that even a proper kitchen, there will soon be no ingredients nor time to make proper meals, not when hundreds have to be fed every single day. And concerning spices, they're frowned upon as a waste of precious space on the dreadnoughts. It is estimated that the average consumption of salt alone exceeds 10 pounds per capita per annum per annum. Annum? I've never heard that word before. Which means that in less than a year, it'll be gone. My dear, can you imagine life without salt? God, I know I can't. I love me some uh, good salty foods. Hopefully you all do too, or you're all dead to me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, so we actually have enough uh, steam cores here to do a little bit of something-something. And I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, bloopity bloop. And that's another one of our goals complete. One of our last main goals is to get all seven advanced buildings. And those are the advanced coal mine number one, advanced coal mine number two, advanced coal mine number three. If I can click on the darn thing, advanced steelworks number one. Advanced Steelworks number two, Advanced Wall Drill number one, and Advanced Wall Drill number two. Those are all seven advanced buildings. It is one of our main objectives. We have completed it. How's the storm looking? Pretty intimidating. So yeah, one of our main goals is completed. Uh, secondary goals are still on the menu, and so will our people be in uh, as soon as we get that cannibalism law passed. So we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We got four automatons left. I guess we can shove them back on wooden steel. I mean, there's no reason not to. Our wooden steel seems to be magically being eaten by something, so what the hell ever. So. That one is. Uh, come on, finish. There we go. Alright. That is good for wood. We've got two sick people for some reason. They're going to treatment, so... Alright, time to make it through the storm, guys. Let's do this. Advanced wall drill complete. And we've got four steam cores to spare. So, you know, I think I'm going to check off the... Get enough automatons for everything. I think we... I think... I think we're good. What do you guys think? I'm gonna wait for you guys to tell me. This is this this series is for you guys. It ain't it ain't for me. I I've done these kind of runs so many times. I mean this is all for you guys. Tell me what you guys want. Do you want me to make more automatons? Leave it up to you. So anyway, um, 
yeah, let's go ahead and just fast forward to the second day of the storm. Or not. You know what? Should we remodel? Should we remodel? I'm thinking about remodeling. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we should build a city that only exists on the edges of the, edges of the map and we have nothing next to the generator at all. What do you guys think? Would that be kind of that'd be kind of hilarious, wouldn't it? <laughs> Just, you know, have the city on the edge. We're living on the edge and just just have the generator running at full power heating up the ground while nothing is there except for the stockpile. I think that'd be hilarious irony. What do you guys think? I think that'd be kind of fun. I don't know if my computer could handle all the steam cores doing all the or the steam hubs doing all that work, but it sure would be funny looking. I'm thinking that might, that might be kind of fun to do. I've never done something like that before. We might do that. All right. So it looks like uh, since our last episode, we've had uh, what's it looking like? About a thousand food rations gone. So this what? Oh, that's the scripted House of Healing thing I told you about. Should be this vent right here. House of Healing. Uh, old man, I will die in good death. In due time, not in pain. Blah, blah, blah. For this I thankful. May you depart in peace. Whatever, dude. I don't like that scripted event, but at least it lets us start using the Houses of Healing constantly, so... That's one of those scripted events you just can't avoid unless you don't have a high hope. If your hope is below 75%, he won't die. But as soon as your hope is over 75%, the next uh, one patient in your House of Healing will die. So that is a scripted death. Uh, the only way to get past it is to just let it happen, and then it'll never happen again, so... It's the only scripted event with the House of Healing, so... Anyway... I really just want to click this button right now. I really want to kill somebody, but... I need as many people alive as possible for when I start starving them to death and causing them to munch on each other's uh, feet to, you know, get food, so... Anyway... We're not gonna do that yet, because I need them to eat each other. So, because when we do do this cannibalism law, a lot of people are going to die. Because you need to have people starving and dying for this law to actually uh, pop up. The requirements for it are that people must be dying and starving. So, I've already actually made a video specifically on how to unlock the cannibalism law. But, I think it'll be fun to see it in actual gameplay. Hopefully before the end of the series. I mean, it's usually one of those things. You either get it really quick because your city is like the shittiest thing ever. Or you get a late game because you're actually trying to get it. So, anyway. Um, not much left to do in this storm. But I guess we could fast forward a little bit. I mean, I mean all we're really doing is uh, waiting for this storm to be over. So... Do, 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 setting my timer here so I know when our video is going to be done. So, man, this is a, this is going to be a short video. The, these storm videos, that's what I think I'll do. I'll make the longer videos the storm preparation, and I'll make these shorter commentary focused videos during the storm a little bit shorter. So, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, take a look at this glitch that we have here. I'll show you guys again for those who missed it. Notice in the upper right hand corner of the screen, there is no scout thing going on up here. The icons are hidden. You can still hover over them. The icons are there. And you can use them to click on the beacon. But what happens if you take the beacon and click uh, dismantle and then you cancel the dismantle, the icons reappear. And you can zoom out during the storm see everything you missed. You know, this might be what's uh, bugging out my game. The game probably doesn't like me doing this, showing off all these bugs that I'm doing. Well, I'm not doing any of the bugs, but I am showing them off for you guys, so... Anyway. 
I think we should uh, search for a screenshot. Let's go into Ansel mode and... Uh... Oh, man. Right there. That is... That is a screenshot worth saving. I'm going to go ahead and snap a screenshot of that. Oh, man. That looked nice. I'm going to set that as my desktop background, because that was just sexy as hell. <sighs> you know what? Oh, there was something else that I wanted to look at. Can we just take a moment to appreciate these flags that are waving here? I mean, they put a lot... I mean, these flags, are, look, just look at how smooth they are. They are just... You know, they probably look better during the day, but... Man, they put a lot of work into this game when they made it. 11-bit did. It's just... And the sound effects that some of these structures make when you zoom in on them... It's just amazing. They put so much... They put so much heart into this game. I, I'm just... I'm amazed. Yeah. Punch it, buddy. Punch it. Punch the wall. Yeah, that was a weak punch. I've seen better. I've seen better. So yeah, um, I guess I keep saying we're going to fast forward, but I don't want this video to be like five minutes long, because we're going to quit recording uh, when the temperature rises, because that's what we do here, so um, let's see. What else can we do and talk about? Um, now this, this run is pretty much stabilized. We've completed 90% of our goals. There's not really much left to do except for to fast forward. So, anyway, I really would appreciate if some of you would let me know some suggestions for completing that, uh, secondary goal that I discussed in the last episode, because, uh, I, I really want to get that complete before the, <laughs> before the run is over, so. Alright, let's just go ahead and fast forward. We'll make this a short video. This is gonna be, like, stupidly short, but, you know, that's what these storms will be about. They'll be about, uh reading the relics that get back uh we'll discuss our plans for the next storm cycle i'll gripe to you guys about whatever and we'll just we'll just shoot the shit you know so labor's done i'm kind of disappointed we lost that dude in the house of uh healing but you know it is what it is so we are slowly taking down our food uh, we are trying to get our food to zero because one of our next goals is going to be to starve people so we can uh, get closer to unlocking that cannibalism law. So we may actually start looking for people instead of Steam Cores coming up because I think we're doing pretty good on Steam Cores. So we've got, what, yeah, four relics left to find and we'll be done with that quest. So temperature has almost risen. Video is almost over. I just want to give a... A, a thank you for all of you guys who've been supporting uh, this run because I'm doing this for you. I don't I don't monetize. I don't advertise. I don't beg for likes or subs. I'm doing this for you guys, and those of you who've been supportful, I am genuinely grateful for because it it makes knowing that what I'm doing worthwhile. Because I'm, I'm 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 it's for you guys. So anyway, that, that's all the sentimentality you're getting out of me. No more. Back to being a dick. Let's do this. Let's murder some people, so. And we have paused at negative 66 degrees. Not even going to comment on that. We're ready for the next uh, storm cycle. We've got some large pits, some ice jaws, and snow dunes. What's out there? Find out in the next episode. I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye.